the people is love. Moreover, amazing. Peaceful. The city is wonderful and technological. Seoul. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Seoul, formerly known as the Seoul Special City, is South Korea's capital and largest metropolis. Seoul has a population of 9.9 .9 million people, according to the 2020 census, and serves as the hub of the Seoul capital area, together with the adjacent Incheon Metropolitan and Jayangi Province. Seoul, a global metropolis and an alpha, City according to the Globalization and World Cities Research Network GAWC, had the world's fourth largest metropolitan economy in 2014, trailing Tokyo, New York City, and Los Angeles. Arcadis ranked Seoul as Asia's most livable city in 2015, with the second greatest quality of life internationally and a GDP per capita of roughly $40,000. The Seoul capital area, with major technology hubs focused in Gangnam and Digital Media City, is home to the headquarters of 15 Fortune Global 500 corporations, including Samsung, LG, and Hyundai. The metropolis has a significant effect in global affairs as one of the five leading hosts of global conferences, ranking seventh in the Global Power City Index and Global Financial Centers Index. Seoul has hosted the Asian Games in 1986, the Summer Olympics in 1988, and the G20 Seoul Meeting in 2010. Seoul has served as the capital of several Korean nations, including Beach, Joseon, the Korean Empire, Goryeo, as a subsidiary city, and South Korea today. It is situated advantageously along the Han River. Seoul's history dates back over 2000 years, to 18 BC, when it was founded by the people of Beach, one of Korea's three kingdoms. During the Joseon dynasty, the city was later chosen as Korea's capital. Bukin Mountain, located on the city's northern outskirts, is surrounded by a steep and hilly terrain. Changdeok Palace, Weizong Fortress, Jongmyo Shrine, Namhan Sanseong, and the royal tombs of the Joseon Dynasty are all UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Seoul capital area. Seoul has recently been a prominent site of modern architectural construction, including major modern landmarks such as the N Seoul Tower, the 63 Building, the Latte World Tower, the Dong Demon Design Plaza, Latte World, Trade Tower, COEX, and the IFC Seoul. Seoul was crowned the world design capital in 2010. It gave birth to K-pop and the Korean wave. History The settlement of the Han River area, which includes modern-day Seoul, began circa 400 BC. Wairi Siang, the capital of Beach, established in 18 BC, in modern-day Seoul, is the first name documented. There are several city walls from this period still standing in the area. Pungnaptoseong, an earthen wall in southeast Seoul, is usually thought to be the primary Wairisiang site. As the three kingdoms fought for control of this crucial territory, control went from Beach to Goguryeo in the 5th century, and from Goguryeo to Silla in the 6th. In the 11th century, Goryeo, the successor of unified Silla, built a summer palace in Seoul, which became known as the Southern Capital. Seoul only became a larger settlement after this time. When the Joseon dynasty succeeded Goryeo, the capital was relocated to Seoul, also known as Hanyang or Hanseong, where it remained until the dynasty's demise. The 14th century Gyeongbok Palace functioned as the royal palace until 1592. Changdeokgung, the other big palace, was built in 1405 and served as the principal royal residence from 1611 to 1872. Wangseong designated Seoul after Joseon was renamed the Korean Empire in 1897. 
The city was originally completely enclosed by a large circular stone wall to protect its residents from wild animals, robbers, and attackers. Although the wall no longer exists, save along Bugaxan Mountain, north of the downtown area, the gates remain near the downtown district of Seoul, most notably Sungniman, commonly known as Namdiman, and Huninjiman, commonly known as Dongdiman. The gates were opened and closed every day during the Joseon dynasty, accompanied by the ringing of enormous bells at the Bozingak Belfry. After hundreds of years of seclusion, Seoul opened its doors to foreigners and began to develop in the late 19th century. Seoul was the first city in East Asia to have electricity in the Royal Palace, which was built by the Edison Illuminating Company, and a decade later Seoul also installed electrical streetlights. Trade with foreign countries such as France and the United States contributed significantly to development. Seoul Electric Company, Seoul Electric Trolley Company, and Seoul Fresh Spring Water Company, for example, were all joint Korean-American firms. In 1904, an American named Angus Hamilton paid a visit to the city and stated, Seoul streets are splendid, spacious, clean, admirably constructed, and well-drained. The tiny, filthy lanes have been enlarged, gutters covered, and streets widened. Seoul is on the verge of becoming the highest, most intriguing, and cleanest metropolis in the East. Japan seized Korea and called the city Jiangxiang after the annexation treaty in 1910. Kyongsong in Korean and Keijo in Japanese. Japanese technology was brought, and the city walls and some of the gates were dismantled. Roads were paved, and Western-style buildings were built. At the end of World War II, U.S. forces liberated the city. Seoul was formally called in 1945, and it was classified as a special city in 1949. Several times throughout the Korean War, Seoul switched hands between Soviet-slash-Chinese-backed North Korean forces and American-backed South Korean forces, leaving the city substantially damaged after the war. Busan was temporarily designated as the capital. According to one estimate of the enormous damage, at least 191,000 structures, 55,000 dwellings, and 1,000 factories lay in ruins after the war. Furthermore, a rush of refugees had entered Seoul during the war, bringing the city and its metropolitan area's population to an estimated 1.5 million by 1955. Seoul began to focus on rehabilitation and modernization after the war. As South Korea's economy began to expand rapidly in the 1960s, so did urbanization, and workers began to migrate to Seoul and other bigger cities. Seoul's administrative area grew significantly in the 1970s as it absorbed a number of towns and villages from neighboring counties. Until 1972, North Korea claimed Seoul as its de jure capital, as stated in Article 103 of the 1948 North Korean Constitution. The 2019 population of South Korea was predicted to be 51.71 million, with 49.8% of the people residing in the Seoul metropolitan region, according to the 2018 population and housing census. This was an increase of 0.7% from 49.1% in 2010, indicating a clear trend toward population concentration in the capital. Seoul has become the country's economic, political, and cultural center, with major Fortune Global 500 businesses headquartered there, including Samsung, SK Holdings, Hyundai, POSCO, and LG Group. Seoul hosted the Asian Games in 1986 and the Summer Olympics in 1988, as well as being one of the venues for the 2002 FIFA World Cup. Economy Seoul is South Korea's commercial and financial center. Despite accounting for only 0.6% of the country's surface area, Seoul had 48.3% of South Korea's bank deposits in 2003, and the city generated 23% of the country's GDP overall in 2012. Seoul was placed number 9 on the Worldwide Centers of Commerce Index in 2008. 
In 2015, the Global Financial Centers Index ranked Seoul as the world's sixth most financially competitive city. On terms of future competitiveness of cities, the Economist Intelligence Unit put Seoul 15th in the list of overall 2025 city competitiveness. Technology According to PwC's Cities of Opportunity study, Seoul is the world's most wired city, ranking first in technology readiness. Seoul boasts a cutting-edge technology infrastructure. Seoul, the capital of South Korea, is among the world leaders in internet connectivity, with the highest fiber-optic broadband penetration and the highest global average internet speeds of 26.1 bits s Seoul has provided free Wi-Fi connectivity in outdoor settings since 2015 as part of a 47.7 billion won, $44 million project that includes internet connection in 10,430 parks, streets, and other public places. With Nokia support, internet speeds in some apartment complexes reach up to 52.5 bit s, and while the normal standard consists of 100 bit s services, providers nationwide are fast rolling out 1 bit s connections for the equivalent of 20 US dollars per month. Furthermore, the city is served by the KTX high-speed rail system and the Seoul subway, which offers 4G LTE, Wi-Fi, and DMB within subway vehicles. 5G will be commercially available in Seoul in March 2019. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.